Right, my YouTubers, the two or three of you that I have at the time. Well, update, the Hemi is slow going. You know, it's like we're, some parts have been on back order for two months now. So in the meantime, just so I can use the truck for camping and hopefully Burning Man, we're going to put a transmission in it so we can get the 5.2 up and running again. And so I'll just be able to drive my truck around in the meantime. But don't worry, that Hemi is still going in there. I am dead set on that racing motor going in that off-road Durango. It's just going to be the ultimate camper that way. But, so in the meantime, I've been working on the inside of the uh, camper and adjusting this and modifying that and just building the shite out of it. So, I'm going to show you what I've been doing. Tonight, I've been cutting this piece of wood to fit in between the cab and the back so I can have a uh, privacy. And what I do is when it's all fit, I'm gonna probably cut along the bottom and actually put up a couple, sorry, I have allergies right now. Put up a couple of uh, spring-loaded uh, hinges. That way if I ever want to get in from the cab, I could just push it out. I've been working on some of the electronics here. Removing the headliner up here. I've already put in added insulation up here in the back. And that's actually a flexible type of spray foam insulation that I've put in between. It's not as thick as what you think. It's super thin, you know, layer because I used it to kind of clue up this. But it'll add a little bit. I have my MPPT charge controller for my... Uh, 500 watts worth of solar panels and MPPT is multiple power point tracking it lets in the absolute all that that solar panel is putting out at the time most solar panels if they're only uh, if the controller is only rated at 24 volts it's only gonna let in 24 volts and then you get however many watts from that this one it will let in up to 30 something volts which a 24 volt solar panel will produce over you know 24 volts in bright sun so this way it will actually you know let in more it can be up to 30 percent more efficient um i've seen this one up a little bit over 20 i think it was about 22 percent efficient if i'm thinking right it's at a 500 volts or 500 watts worth of panels, it's let in 620 uh, watts. And then it started kind of trying to shut down because it was actually letting in too much. So I needed to actually get a bigger one. But yep, and as you can see by the wires, that's fully integrated into my truck now. I still need to work on that outlet. And I'm going to be putting a 12 volt uh, outlet, like a cigarette lighter style in right there and one in that corner and I have my three-way switch which as you can see TV's on now you know it's like I thought I'd test it in the blu-ray player and everything to make sure everything's wired up right and yeah you can see it's on and working and yes that is in my ceiling and it's actually in there pretty good I mean you if you pull down hard enough you'll start to uh, dent in the uh, ceiling I have a 24, or a 24, a 110 outlet there, and right here. This one's going to be wired up separately, because if I ever have a heater or a fan, I want to be able to turn that on and off without having to turn my other outlets on and off. And for that, I have this handy three-way switch, which, if you watch, see, that was TV. This one's for the outlets, the other two. And then that one right there is for this one. So yeah, I've already added insulation to the back and insulation to the sides. These do have a little bit of an air gap, which helps. Air gap is big. What I was gonna do is just spray foam insulation in all the holes, but then I found out about air gap. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that. I could do just insulation on the outside, but I am a little worried about 
too much of a temperature difference in between that and the outside of the truck and too much sweating going on. But yeah, so I'm still trying to figure out that. Yes, even the insulation on the windows. Because glass actually lets in a lot of heat. And uh, with the solar panel setup, I can actually put a little window unit AC in the uh, front passenger side. And actually have that off the uh, solar. I have enough solar to actually do that. Which is nice. But, uh, yeah, you want to keep it cool. Last year when I tried to go to Burning Man, I had my AC on the lowest possible setting. And I was almost getting frozen out in my truck during the hottest part of the day in the Nevada desert. And people around me that were also camped out on the roadside trying to get tickets, they couldn't believe that I could sleep comfortably during the hottest part of the day. And, you know, it was like something that is running AC without a actual gas motor. They got the biggest damn kick out of that. They loved it. But anyway, folks, hopefully this helps. You know, I hope you guys aren't too upset that you're not going to see the Hemi in it as soon as we thought. But at least this way, you'll get more updates on what we're doing, uh, especially if we get a different frame for the truck. That's one thing me and my buddy are really talking about is actually getting a beefed up frame from like a 1500 and if we do that it'll be kind of funny because the truck will be pretty much a 1500 with a Durango shell on it and chopped down frame and everything else to actually fit in the wheel wells which would be pretty interesting I think it'd be tough as hell but yeah well I hope you guys enjoyed and you guys have a good night